What's up guys, Ninth Jim here back with another VGC 2020 Pokemon Sword and Shield competitive video and today we are talking about Volcarona. Now this Pokemon is pretty interesting, it has a really interesting typing of bug fire giving it one really bad weakness of quad weakness of rock which sucks. It has mediocre abilities and pretty solid stats but it does have access to Quiver Dance which is really cool about this Pokemon giving it that plus one speed and plus one special attack as well as plus one special defense which is always sweet. and making this Pokemon an absolute monster after that buff. It has pretty solid uh, Dynamax attacks, as well as just move pool in general. So, Pokemon is pretty cool. Anyway, today we're going to be covering a VGC build, as well as a singles build, single spotlight, as well as speed tiers and damage calc. So if that's something you're interested in, go ahead, like, like comment, and subscribe. Makes a big difference. Anyway, let's talk about it. So Volcarona, bug fire typing, one quad weakness of rock, two regular weaknesses of water and flying, and then six resistances, which is always good. Grass, ice, fighting, bug, steel, and fairy. Pretty solid typing. Although, you know, rock is pretty big and has multi-targeting moves, so you can't even really follow me around them. It is what it is. Anyway, as far as stats go, this Pokemon's pretty solid. HP at 85, defense at 65, and special defense at 105. HP is a pretty average, special defense is pretty solid, and then defense is pretty lackluster, and you don't get a plus one defense when you go for uh, the the young quiver dance, which it, it sucks, but it is what it is, you know? Uh, we are pretty frail defensively, and then we also have, you know, of course, Rock Slide just hitting really really hard against this Pokemon so you know things like Terrakion, Excadrill, Tyranitar you have some pretty big glaring weaknesses but it is what it is as far as offense goes though this Pokemon is pretty phenomenal we have 135 special attack which is really really hitting hard and then we also have speed at 100 which is very solid as well with some investments we hit a very solid speed tier and hit really really good damage output especially with Dynamax moves as well as Quiver Dance Anyway, that's going to be it for our overview. Let's go ahead and talk about the build itself. So, as far as our VGC set goes, we are running Ability Flame Body and Life Orb as our item. The Ability Flame Body is okay. Like I said, a really mediocre ability. We either have this or Swarm, and Swarm just buffs up your bug-type moves when you're at 33% health and less. It's pretty, pretty bad. But, Flame Body, you know, we have a chance of burning people whenever they make, um, you know, direct uh, physical contact with Volcarona, which is pretty cool. It's only, is it a 50% chance? 30% chance. Yeah, so it, it, it kind of sucks. It's not a great ability, but you know, helps you, you hatch your eggs faster. You know, that's something. Anyway, so uh, we are running the item Life Orb. We just want to get a little bit more damage on this Pokemon. It gives us 1.3 times damage, also the flexibility of the Dynamax, and still get a really good item effect, which is always good. We do have a couple of other good options as well. Something like Safety Goggles is always great right now. Um, you know, so much Amoongus, so much Rage Powder. It's very good. It's, it's just a good, you know, item. We also have Lumberry, which can keep away you know sleep effects and and uh and paralyze and so on and so forth which is always not that bad either we also have focus ash which you know quad effective weakness to to rock and all of them you know a lot of rock attacks are going to be physical so focus ash is prominent as well all of those work Anyway, um, that's going to be it for items. Let's talk about some moves. So on this set, we have Heat Wave, Bug Buzz, Quiver Dance, and Protect. I think this is a pretty solid set. It gives us Dual Stab, Heat Wave, and Bug Buzz, both being our best stab special attacking moves. I mean, you have a couple of other options as well, especially for Fire. Um, you know, something like uh, Fiery Dance over Heat. But Heat Wave gives us a really good max move while also hitting really solid spread damage. And after a Quiver Dance, you are hitting so much damage with Heat Wave to both opposing Pokemon that it's just very solid. Quiver Dance and Protect, however, are a little bit different. So we could run, usually you run like your Dual Stab and then Protect and then one move of choice for a Pokemon like this. We are running Quiver Dance for that because I think Quiver Dance is pretty insane. When you do it and then Dynamax this Pokemon, the, it's insanely mighty. It's, it's just very, very strong. Um, if, it, if we had a better position in the meta where we don't have Terrakion, Ty Tyranitar, and Excadrill all being top 10 Pokemon, I think this Pokemon would shine a lot better. But I still think it's really good. Quiver Dance is really cool and protects good. Um, other than that, we do have other flex moves that could land on a set, and I wouldn't blame you if they did. Um, we have Hurricane, which is really good. It becomes max airstream for good speed control. Very good stuff. We also have Giga Drain. Um, you know, good spread 
try to destroy those rock type Pokemon. You know, it's not going to be stab and it's not a super high power move, so it's not going to be the best, but it is an option. And then, like I said, Overheat and Fiery Dance are just other options instead of Heat Wave if you want to go over with them. And then we have Rage Powder, which is really interesting that this Pokemon has, you know, being able to Rage Powder. It's just another redirection Pokemon, but, you know, it, it gets destroyed by these rock types. So it's one of the lowest tier of redirection that we have. We have Ndidi, Togekiss, and Amoongus, which are just all three amazing Pokemon because of Redirection. So you're probably not going to use Redirection on Volcarona, but it's still a good option. And then we also have Will-O-Wisp, which, you know, this Pokemon's very offensive, so we're probably going to be playing more offense, but Will-O-Wisp is still a really good option as well. Um, so yeah, that's about it for the moves. I think there's a couple of other cool ones that you could use, something like, I think it gets Psychic. Is that true? I think it gets Psychic. Um, it has some other options, so that's cool. Um, anyway, as far as our EVs, our spread goes, we went pretty basic, just 252 into special attack and 252 into speed, and then Tim and Nature giving us plus speed and minus attack, just being as fast as possible. Like I said, we hit a pretty competent speed tier at 167. We'll talk more about speed tiers here in a moment, but until then, just know it's, it's pretty solid, you know. Uh, we put our leftover 4 in HP because we're probably going to max it a lot, so... Pretty basic, just 252, 252, 4. You can definitely mess around with this with more testing. I haven't really used this much in uh, VGC 2020 or really ever, honestly. But, you know, it's pretty fast. It's pretty offensive. Quiver Dance is awesome. It has good spread, uh, good typing for offense. It's a cool Pokemon. Anyway, so couple of good synergetic Pokemon for this. By the way, the VGC set is over. Let's talk about synergetic stuff. So, first off, we have Rillaboom. Um, Rillaboom offers very strong stab against our two, two of the biggest weaknesses, Water and Rock. It also has Grassy Glide, which is plus one speed priority. Just destroy those Rock Pokemon that are threatening Volcarona. You know, you can go Protect and, and Grassy Glide and then Grassy Glide, kill it next turn, because it's probably going to be two hitting a lot of Pokemon. But... Still very, very strong, um, you know, a great synergy for Volcarona. Covers your weaknesses a lot, which is always good. Next, we have Togekiss. This pretty much just signifies any kind of redirection. You don't want to use Amoongus, though, like, pro like most of the time with Volcarona. It depends, like, on your lead and stuff. But, uh, actually, I mean, it's fine. You know, any kind of redirection is good. I went with Togekiss just because it's generically very, very strong. You know, it, it also just destroys those... Uh, I was going to say, no, no, never mind. Um, yeah, it's just good. I think it's just good in general, you know. Uh, we also have Heat Wave to set Max um, max Sun or Max Flare to set Sun, and then we get boosted Heat Wave, which is cool. So a couple of different options there. Anyway, that's going to be it for this slide. Let's go ahead and move on to speed tiers. So as far as speed tiers go, I did say that we have a competent speed tier where we hit. We are at 167 on the same speed tier as Charizard, which is commonly pretty fast of a speed tier. We are outspeeding a lot of really good Pokemon, things like Mimikyu, Excadrill, Form Change Rotom, Duraludon, Arcanine, Indeedee Male, Indeedee Female, Rillaboom. So many great Pokemon under us that we are just outspeeding, which is great. And then after a Quiver Dance, we get 1.5 times speed, and we are just real fast, you know? So that's pretty good. There are a couple of Pokemon that will be outspeeding us. Not a lot, honestly. We have Durant, Whimsicott, Cinderace, Inteleon, um, Dragapult, Weavile, and then all of our weather Pokemon. You know, things like Chlorophyll, Venusaur, Chlorophyll, Lil Lilligant. We have, um, you know, Swift Swim, Kingdra, Excadrill under Sandrush. A whole bunch of fast things. But honestly, you know, any of the Pokemon above us on this list, Inteleon, Cinderace, Whimsicott, all of those are going to be outsped by all those Pokemon too. That is just their whole gimmick, is that they're fast. So, I mean, you know, not being able to outspeed those, don't worry about that. It ain't happening. But we're very fast and it's very solid. Anyway, that's going to be it for speed tiers. Let's move on to some damage calcs. So, as far as damage calcs go, we're pretty strong. You know, Life Orb, Volcarona, Max Invest into Special Attack, Bug Buzz into a Rillaboom. Now, this is one of the things that's really good. Um, Rillaboom is one of the most used Pokemon currently and probably will be for a lot of VGC 2020. It's just a really strong ability, a really good Pokemon, great stats, really good moves. Uh, but this is not the Rillaboom video, so we're not going to talk about it anymore. So, Bug Buzz into that Assault Vest Rillaboom. Assault Vest also giving it 1.5 times special defense, which is bad for us. Um, we are not going to be taking an Oko most of the time with Bug Buzz. We are hitting 87 to 105%, which is only a 25% Oko, 25% uh, chance to Oko, which is not amazing. But if you max, even base max Bug Buzz with no buffs from Quiver Dance or anything, we are hitting 128 to 152 into a max invest into HP, Assault Vest, 
Rillaboom. This is pretty good. Gives us a really good chance of okoing it. You know, they're probably going to be like, oh, fake out. He's going to go Quiver Dance. And then we max, kill it. It gets no value. Very good. We're in a very good position then. Um, also, Quiver Dance. Quiver Dance Bug Buzz or Quiver Dance Heat Wave is going to take an Oko on it too, which is very good. Um, next, we have Quiver Dance, so plus one Max Invested Life Orb Heat Wave into a Moongus. Max Invested into HP and then four into Special Defense. We are hitting 130 to 155% chance of Guaranteed Oko, which is not a chance. It's a Guaranteed Oko at Quiver Dance. If you know Quiver Dance, then we, you know, don't have an Oko. <laughs> we, we won't Oko it. But... Um, it, you know, still very, very good damage and, uh, good stuff. I like it. I think it's good. That's another, um, you know, and it's spread. So, you know, even if a rage powders, heat wave is still hitting it. It's really good. Next we have Dynamax helping hand. Um, so this is the only way to Oko Tyranitar in sand. We, with helping hand plus Dynamax plus Max Flutterby. Now it's plus one. So we're also Quiver Dance. I, I that's. Not there, but needs to be. Um, so, Quiver Dance, Dynamax, Helping Hand, Max Invested into Special Attack, Life Orb. That's a lot of stuff, I know. That's a lot of stuff. But, that way, we can Oko, In Sand, Max HP, Dynamax, Tyranitar. This is a lot. Anyway, Quiver Dance, Helping Hand, Max Flutterby, with Life Orb, into Max HP, Dynamax, Tyranitar, During Sand. Guaranteed Oko. Very good stuff. A lot of hoops to jump through, but very good stuff nonetheless. Next we have Terrakion Rock Slide, no buffs, just 252 attack, into our Volcarona Dynamaxed, is hitting 83 to 100.6, which is a 6% chance to Oko. Uh, that, you're, we're probably living, you know what I mean? Like, that's not that bad. But we have to Dynamax, it's still knocking us to very, very low HP, and uh, yeah, it's a spread move, so we can't even play around it with Follow Me. Terrakion, he he hurts. He hurts you. You know what I'm saying? So does Excadrill. So does Tyranitar. All these Pokemon, they're Rock Slide. You know, Rock Slide sucks <laughs> for this Pokemon. Anyway, next we have Togekiss, Max Airstream into our Volcarona. Dynamaxed. It's Dynamaxed on their side. We're Dynamaxed. This is 252 special attack. It's hitting 63 to six, 63 to 74%, which is guaranteed to hit KO. Not too bad. You know, pretty big damage. If it hits a scope lens crit, then uh, yikes. But, you know, it happens. Next we have Libero, Cinderace, Life Orb, Max Invested, Max Airstream into our Volcarona Dynamaxed. 117 to 138. Guaranteed Oko. I mean, this shouldn't come as too much of a surprise. Cinderace hits hard, you know, and it's super effective. Stab, Life Orb. Yeah, it, it, it hurts. A lot of things hurt this Pokemon. It's not super frail, but it's not super bulky. You know, it has a bunch of big weaknesses, especially rock. So, you know, it happens. Anyway, that's going to be it for our damage calc portion. Let's talk about single spotlight real quick before I'm out of your hair. So, ability, flame body. Of course, you know, swarm is just not that good. You know, Flame Body's not that good, but it's better than Swarm. So, it is what it is. And then we went with Item Heavy Duty Boots. I think this is just really good for this Pokemon. You know, Stealth Rocks eats at least 50% of HP. So, Heavy Duty Boots is pretty good. You get it in safely, Quiver Dance up when they're repositioning, and then hit Flamethrower, Giga Drain, Bug Buzz, kill them. <laughs> you know? It's a pretty simple plan. It's just Quiver Dance, kill them. Yeah, it makes sense. We just went for that same set. That, that set, it's very good. Quiver Dance, three attacks, two stab. Um, it's pretty good stuff. You can switch out Giga Drain, you know, go for any option that you need on your team. It's good. And then we went for, uh, just the same build as, uh, VGC, 252 into Special Attack and Speed, and then 4 into Defense. You can put it into HP, but we're less likely to Dynamax this in singles. And then Timid Nature, giving us plus speed minus attack. Just being as fast as possible with this Pokemon, we hit an amazing speed tier, so why not lean into that? Anyway, that's going to be it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. In sum up, I think Volcarona is pretty strong. It doesn't have the best position in the meta with three really strong rock, especially rock slide users in the top 10, top 20 Pokemon of VGC 2020 currently. So it doesn't have the best position. There's so many big threats for this Pokemon. But if you get, if you're capable of getting a Quiver Dance off and then Dynamaxing, you're taking Oko, 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 and it's very, very good. 
Pokemon's very versatile. It's a special attacker, so Intimidate doesn't even hurt us that bad. So it's, it's good stuff. I, I like this Pokemon. I think it's really promising. Um, anyway, that's going to be it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, go down to the comment section right now. Say, hey, nice vid, or anything constructive, whatever you want to say. Just comment something. Also, like and subscribe. It makes, makes a huge difference. And then join my Discord. Follow me on Twitter. Have a great next two months. That's going to be it for the video. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye.